Stolen Cerberus is the second annual joint training exercise that the 86 Airlift Wing Airmen share with the United States NATO ally, Greece. Having the chance to fly over warm Greece during Central Europe's cold winters opens up unique training opportunities for the 37th Airlift Squadron. Uh, it does allow us to get out and actually do our mission in a different environment. It sharpens crews by uh, allowing us to operate in different scenarios that we don't get to do on a normal basis. Um, it's why these flying training deployments are essential to keeping this mission ready. We also bring certain uh, resources that maybe they don't, they don't always have and uh, give them the opportunity to exercise that capability that they do have but maybe don't get to practice a whole lot. Trainings like these go a long way in closing the gaps between nations and cultures, especially when you share a common background. If you talk to another pilot, you automatically have that bond and you have a conversation right there no matter what. Um, so with these guys, they're C-130 pilots, we're C-130 pilots and air crew as well. But uh, we tend to instantly hit it off because we've all been in the same situations, we do the same mission and uh, we kind of already have a bond. Training for the mission is important, but the real value of stolen Cerberus too might be the connections made between allies. It's even better to get to do that in a country like Greece where they are so welcoming and the guy is such a great squadron and uh, they really do go out of their way to do everything they can for us and make this successful for us. It's definitely a joint effort uh, between the U.S. Air Force and the Greek Air Force. Senior Airman Nicholas Crisp, Ramstein Air Base, Germany.